Hello. Who are you? <laughs> I'm me. Who are you? I believe you. I'm just... I'm the plumber. What's your name? My name is, uh... Carlos. <laughs> you changed your, like, accent. You changed your, uh, your voice completely there. That's I cool. live in the, uh... United States of America. How did you do? How are you doing that with your voice? <laughs> you uh, a little secret. I'm not gonna tell you. <laughs> All right. I I believe you. I believe you. So. So anyways, uh, Wall Seeker is not gonna be here. It's just gonna be me, Carlos. Carlos the plumber. <laughs> this is this is the podcast with the first special guest. We've got Carlos the plumber. Everyone. Thank, thank you, everyone. It's a huge honor. I, I think I might just cry here, you know. <laughs> no, okay. He's gone. He's fucking gone. He's gone, mate. Uh, He's fucking left. Wait, Carlos, you didn't say goodbye. What the hell? He didn't even say goodbye to us. My bad, my guy. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> goodbye, Carlos. Goodbye. By the way, this podcast is sponsored by me. Carlos Pro Plumbing. So, uh, yeah, if you're in the United States, please just hop on by and I'll give you like a free, you know, I'll yeah. fix your pipes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know dude. What I'm saying? He's going to go fix your pipes, everyone. So, everybody call up Carlos the Plumber and he will make sure to get your cl uh, your pipes clean and uh, uh, rat free. Yeah. No, no rats. No rats in your pipes. First father's free. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Seven day free trial. <laughs> Seven day of pipe fixing. Starting now. It does not matter. It, it, like, it starts now. Okay? He does not give a yeah, shit if you sign up, like, tomorrow. Then you'll only have six days left. All yeah. Right? Uh, That's how this, it works. The free trial starts as soon as, you know, this also, podcast started. Wait, yeah. And this podcast is being recorded on the, on the Sunday. And it comes out on the Thursday. Which means that by the time this podcast comes out, you'll have, like, one day left of the free trial. I'm sorry. Yeah, you know. Sorry, hey, guys. We, we don't write the rules. Yeah. You, know? you win some, you lose some, I guess. Yeah, you know. And you guys just fucking lost. I'm sorry. You lost big time. <laughs> Carlos, he's, he's pretty good. Just like Reddit fixing. did with the with the GMEs. Did you see that? I think I think they're losing money now and like people or like they were, but like they've lost a, a lot of fucking money. Yeah, it's not looking good. Yeah, it's not looking very good. Not looking good at all. However, Dogecoin flying through the roof. <gasps> Woo! Everybody, what? let's type up Dogecoin right now and take what? a look. What does it say? What's the it price? Say? What's the price? <clears throat> what does it say? 0 0.069. Dude, 69? It's what? Like 6.9 cents? I don't <laughs> know. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Up 37 uh, percent in 24 me. hours. I, I just had a ham I just made a hamburger. Yeah. So yeah, welcome to yet another episode of the. Uh, yeah, welcome to generally... episode three. Epis Is it episode three? Yeah, it's episode I three. Was, I thought this was episode three point five. Um. Yeah, uh, for you who don't like, we haven't talked about this, but yesterday we recorded a full podcast, and then my yeah. dog ate it. And my dog came dog up ate and half ate it. Of it. Yeah, so like we lost the podcast, but this is so this is technically episode three point five. Also, don't believe it's anything weird. we're saying. This is all a lie. We did not. I, I was saying that we say say onwards is fake. Yeah, everything we say on this podcast is a lie. The, but the Carlos Carlos uh, plumbing sponsorship. Yeah, that's that was real. that was earlier in the podcast. That was all real. That was all real. That was all real. <laughs> Hell yeah. Um, yeah, what have you been like doing? you were saying, episode three. Yeah, episode three. What have, what have you been doing uh, this this week and this weekend? What have we, what have we <sighs> hold on, hold there? on. We got to mention the, uh, the... Yeah? The f picture, the artwork. The artwork. Everyone, <gasps> look. All right. Look at it. Look at it. Look gaze, at it. Gaze upon the art made by Lord Bung. I promised that, or like I talked, we talked about it in the last podcast, but uh, it wasn't ready by then, so it was 
literally just a black screen for the background and like the thumbnail and all that. But now we got artwork. It's here from the legendary Lord Bung, who creator of uh, the Confinement series on YouTube. Go subscribe to him. I'll put his link in the description. Uh, he uh, he made the first like draft for this picture that you see right now in like five minutes. I sent him uh, a commission, and he was like. Uh yeah man you know I, I I actually need some I'm I need some money right now like I I would love to do a commission do, do you have the characters and stuff and like what kind what kind of vibe do you have for the podcast and so I like sent him um two like I, I sent him mm -hmm. three pictures I sent him the first podcast picture that I made in paint uh <sighs> and then I sent him work. my character and Wall Seekers like character and then I sent him. Uh, or he asked me to send him the first episode of the podcast so that he could like listen to it and like get the vibe that we're going for, and um, and in like five minutes he drew the first like lines of like our characters and I was, it, it's amazing it's beautiful I love yeah, this it's beautiful I love this art so uh, round of applause round of applause for my man for my man uh, sorry Lord everybody Fun. I probably. Hurt some ears. No. Write that down. I yeah, edit it. I write that write down. That I write down. down. What was that at? That's at six minute twenty six. Uh, clapping. <laughs> clapping. Last time, uh, I didn't like write down anything. So like, or the first two podcasts basically. So every time we did something, if he, if Wallseeker like had to go or something for a little bit, we just, we just. <laughs> I just had to find it. I just had to like remember sort of where Hope it was. It. But now yeah. I'm writing in Notepad on my PC where like everything is, so that um, it's gonna you know make editing a little easier. It's gonna be great. It's beautiful. It's gonna be beautiful. <laughs> so um, beautiful. Yeah. But this is episode three of the Generally Speaking podcast. I'm your host, General Lars, and uh, joined by Wall Seeker as always. We're we're gonna start getting guests on i think i think i'm gonna ask either sochis or foxley to be on next time it depends on who's who's available who's that, free who's free everything <laughs> i wanted to get morgan freeman today but you know uh, he's busy, he uh... he sent us we we wrote to morgan freeman sir morgan freeman and he wrote to us back and he said fuck you and so we were like ah oh, man damn <laughs> Yeah, I, I can't believe it. He's yeah, an asshole. Oh exactly. Well, I'll put the I'll put the screenshot. I'll put the screenshot of of yeah. the message up on screen right here. You can see that it's real. It's gonna be like a little <laughs> stick figure <laughs> saying like, "Please join our podcast?" Question mark. <laughs> Question mark. Uh, he sent. We sent him a letter. Signed. Like a, signed. Yeah. General Lars. Age. Thirty six. Age thirty six. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I gotta mention that. Because <laughs> nobody's gonna get that. Um, yesterday, I went to uh, my niece's four-year-old birthday party, and while I was away, my old elementary art teacher um, showed up at my farm, like at my house, because I went mm -hmm. um, like home this weekend. I wasn't in. I was not in the big city of Reykjavik. Um, big Apple. The Big Apple, and um, like. You know, I, I I went to my grandma's house because the birthday party was there with my with my mom, my dad, and my sister, and we were just like eating cake, eating waffles. My my niece like just was playing uh, hide and seek and shit around with the kids. And while <laughs> I was away, my art my art teacher from elementary came by my house, and mm -hmm. there was no one home except for our like worker there's a there's a guy working for my dad on the farm on the on the range who's like um i think yeah. he's from he's from hungary and and like he's hungry he's hungry he's hungry and hungry for because, what? because we don't feed him you know he's just working for us we don't give him, ah, he's, yeah. he sleeps outside we don't give yeah. him any food um but don't tell the authorities or anything like just keep that that this is for your ears only you know all right. Yeah. Yep. I won't snitch. I yeah, promise. Yeah. Exactly. And um, the art teacher showed up and like found the the Hungarian uh, worker at her farm 
and asked like is nobody else home because he was like skeptical he didn't want to give it to the hungarian because like he wanted to make sure that i get my art uh, this is like mm-hmm. an art folder that he found at his home and he had promised me for like two years now he, every time he came to like my workplace on the uh Yeah. like where i was working basically he he would like tell me like oh dude i found a folder from you from elementary i'll, I'll remember to bring it and then he never did and he never brought uh-huh. it to my workplace and so i'm i'm assuming on saturday he just suddenly decided okay i'm bringing this over it's time it's time to give him his art back and <sighs> oh boy there was a lot of art in there <laughs> some of it was some of it was very it was like actually pretty good like i, I posted yeah. some of it on twitter i'll put it up on on screen some of it the like i some of it was very good um then there was one of them where i drew some uh gravity falls characters and i was trying to that was the first picture like on the top of the whole thing like the first one i opened it up to the, my folder and mm-hmm. um It doesn't. It didn't say on the folder anywhere what year I drew any of this shit. So I was like, I was trying to find it on the fucking on like the pictures. And the first yeah. picture, <laughs> I wrote my name and then age thirty six. I don't know why I did that, but uh, yeah, I, that, that <laughs> didn't help. It didn't help, and I I can't find my age on any of those pictures. But I'm assuming it was sometime when I was like fourteen or fifteen years old, maybe. No, no, it was. It was when you were yeah, thirty-six. So went 30, back in time. Thirty-six in elementary school. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you know, I wrote Lars, that. Age fourteen. <laughs> mental age thirty-six. Thirty-six. No, even older now because, like, you know, my the the gag in my in my streams is that I'm I'm a boomer. Like everyone calls me a boomer, even though I'm like twenty. Yeah. I'm twenty-one. I'm twenty-one years old, turning twenty-two this year. Everyone calls me a boomer, and then everyone thinks I'm retiring because Wasi pranked me in Minecraft. <laughs> yeah, yeah. that's the greatest. <laughs> it was the funniest prank. thing ever. What happened? Hmm? Well, you know, you, yeah, we're streaming Minecraft. I was, okay, I was streaming Minecraft with you, and then you needed to do something. I, I had to go to the restroom or eat or something. I don't yeah, remember what it was. Something along those lines. And yeah. instead of you doing the usual thing of throwing up like a afk you know screen like oh i'm gone yeah, exactly i didn't do that you i wanted decided to, like... to <laughs> you just you wanted to show me like i don't know do something in our house in minecraft <laughs> yeah so i left so the you camera sat on. in the corner left the camera on, <laughs> and me thinking oh this is my chance i'm gonna prank general lars <laughs> and originally i was gonna put like a sign on top of a block With like I don't know, like penis ASCII art, but then I thought, no, that's that's childish, that's stupid. Yeah, gotta that's, think that's, grander. That's not that's unoriginal, you know. You gotta do something great. And so in my head, got this idea. <laughs> type in, type in, type on the sign. <laughs> this will be my last stream. I am retiring. <laughs> And, and it was up there for like five minutes. So like if any people came in, either that's my viewers or just like random people, that's the fucking only thing they see. What? Yeah, It's what just... they see is the sign and then the house, which I covered in torches. Yeah, every there were torches absolutely torch everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> torches everywhere. And it just said on the sign, and like, I'm retiring. This will yeah, be my last on the, In the stream, you could hear me just like crying from <laughs> Laugh, oh yeah, because I didn't mute. I didn't mute Wall Street. Yeah, so you, you could just hear him me. laughing his ass off. It was so funny. I couldn't stop laughing. I just I thought it was so funny. <laughs> and then you laugh even harder when I come back, and the first thing I say is "What the fuck?" And you're like laughing so hard because like you know what you did, yeah. and it is beautiful. <laughs> it was amazing. And now every time I stream. My my viewers like ask me, hey, when are you retiring, man? When, yeah, when, when are you gonna retire? When is the worst of retirement? Put a photo of it on on the podcast. Put yeah. a photo of the uh, work that I did. I want to do like fun things. Like Jeremiah is a big inspiration for my like streams. Like when I when I stream, uh, I I stream like everything basically. Like I, I'm a variety streamer, and that's thanks to Jeremiah. Like when I started streaming. Um, back in like 2017 or something like well, my first ever stream was minecraft and i was just <laughs> gonna stream minecraft i was gonna be another minecraft streamer 
Um, but then, Just another uh, Minecraft streamer. Exactly. And then in 2017, yeah. my internet wasn't so good. So, like, I only did, like, one stream or something and then just, like, gave up. I felt really bad for, like, streaming such bad quality and lag, laggy stream and shit. So I was like, mm -hmm. oh, man. And, um, and I didn't pick it up again until 2018 when um, we finally got on my farm, like, uh, we got fiber internet. Oh, yep. Got fiber internet on the farm, and it was great. And then, um, <clears throat> uh, like, I was able to stream, finally. Uh, me and my brother both started streaming around the same time. Or I think I started streaming before he did, and then he started streaming. And, um, or maybe it was the opposite. I don't fucking remember, man. But I started streaming fully in 2018. And at that time, I decided, like, okay, Jerma... Uh, I love what he does. I, I would like to be able to do what he does, and that's just stream whatever and just interact with the chat because, like, his chat does not give a shit what he plays. They just watch him. They're watching for the he, the content that he puts out. They don't give a shit mm -hmm. what game he plays. He played a game on stream um, that was called, like, the Daedalus Experiment or something, and it was, like, yeah. every, it was widely considered to be the worst game he's ever played on stream, and, like, the worst stream he's ever did, because it was, like, it was hard for him to keep it entertaining, yet there were some of the funniest fucking moments in there, like, when he did, like, a he was trying to do, like, a puzzle that mm -hmm. he could not understand. He was, like, getting it, and then he just, like, randomly mashed some buttons, and it fucking solved itself, and he just started screaming, <laughs> like, what the fuck just happened? I've been nice. sitting here, like, and he was stuck on that puzzle for almost an hour. A whole oh hour God. doing that, yeah. That's why it's, like, considered his worst stream. It was so funny. And he was so, like, dedicated on finishing the game, but he that, he gave up. I think he did not finish it. He's just like, fuck this, and he stopped playing it. It's not worth it. But, like, you know, he just, he just plays whatever, and he plays a lot of, like, old games, like, on, like, ROMs and stuff, and I, uh, I haven't started doing that yet, but yeah. uh, I do have... Um, uh, well, uh, if there's any law in this uh, podcast listening right now, close your ears. I have a couple like emulators downloaded for like PlayStation Ooh. One and Two, and um, and also uh, the uh, the Nintendo sixty four console. <gasps> and um, oh you know, I I want to start streaming some like ROMs, you know, some some old games that I used to play when I was a kid, and also just like suggestions because um, my good my good pal Sochis and also Foxley have both like given me. Um, suggestions for like old games that I should play and I think I have like Ooh. I have an old like Digimon game and I want to play Toy Story 2 for the PlayStation 1 and stuff like that because that game is a classic that game that game needs to be remastered please mm. please I need I need orchestra That's going to be a no from me no oh! I need I need the music to be remastered happen. at least I don't care if the game gets remastered but please somebody make like an orchestra version of the Toy Story 2 for PlayStation 1, like, soundtrack, please. The music is beautiful. There's anybody in the orchestra here <laughs> yeah. listening? You know what to do now. <laughs> if you're in the orchestra, just fucking find, find the pieces. Find, uh, yeah. fi find just the compose. Toy Story 2. Exactly. Recompose the music, compose please. It. Compo just... Compost it. No, don't do that. Don't, don't Put it in me. the compost. No. Yes. Um... <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the fucking music is fantastic, and it's one of my childhood games. I my my brother um, had a PS2, and like he hated that like I would play on it. But sometimes, you know, when he wasn't home, I would like play on his PlayStation 2, and we had Toy Story 2 for the PS1, and you know the PlayStation 2 was able to play PS1 games, and so we were playing. Yeah. I was playing you know toy story 2 compatibility. exactly i was playing uh, the toy story 2 game on my brother's playstation 2 like before he got home and then whenever he got home he would like tell me to fuck off so he could play gta vice city bro oh dude wow and fifa Gen general Urs, please would you kindly fuck off <laughs> yeah would you kindly get the fuck off of my that's exactly what he sounds like yeah <laughs> just like that yeah um, and then one one fateful day when i think it was christmas my mom bought me and my sister like uh playstation 2 for both of us like not not two separate ones just like one playstation <laughs> that we had to share and uh, that also 
was just as bad as my brother not wanting to share with us because like you know my sister was playing and i she was playing like boring like horse games and shit and i was like come on let me play i want to play and then she didn't like the games i was playing because i was playing like lego games and and stuff though lego mm-hmm. games are fantastic she <laughs> My sister would like good old. My my sister would play a game that she, we both bought like a game in Germany one time. We went to Germany, and mm-hmm. um, on our way back home, we stopped in the um, um, what's uh, what's free hub in in English, man? Or do you know what that? Do you know what that word is? Like I don't speak they, Icelandic, exactly. man. Don't forget. <laughs> At the ter- at the terminal at the like airport like terminal the, 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 there was like an electronic shop and we stopped in like yeah. this electronic shop and played or we didn't play we 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 looked at some of the video games and then you stole all video games that yeah made- yeah we stole them that's uh, that's why we're banned in Germany no um General Lars, I'm exposing your lie <laughs> yeah. on my, podcast my mom asked like me and my sister if we wanted to pick a game or like one for each and so i picked lego indiana jones and i remember <gasps> yeah i remember it because it's the only like game that i have on my game like shelf that's in german like the box is in german <laughs> like completely and then my sister picked some like horse game however the thing about the horse game that she picked i was able to choose my language so i could actually play the game in english while yeah. the horse game was completely German. My sister could not understand. She just like saw the button prompts and so she was playing a German game completely. Spielen. <laughs> yeah, spielen. Vielen Dank. You know? Uh, uh, brechen, brechen. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the... There's some German. Yeah. I don't know what the horse game was called. Um, no idea. But like, you know, I played... Lego Batman and Lego Engine of Jones and Lego Star Wars and all that. I, no, I, really, I, I really like Lego. I Jones. also had the uh, Lego Indiana Jones game. Hell yeah, that one's really good. Except on the PC. Ooh. <laughs> okay, I, I tried streaming it on PC. I bought it on Steam uh, a while ago. And then like a couple months ago, I think it was in November, um, I was like, oh, dude, I want to play Lego. Lego? Lego Engine of Jones. Lego. Lego. Um, and it, it, um, it ran fine and like everything was cool, I guess, but th- there was this issue where sometimes you, your character just would not jump. So I gave up on it. I, I didn't, I haven't <laughs> finished it. Like well, certain, yeah. certain platforms just wouldn't let me jump as a Lego character. It was like, I was an actual Lego character getting like stuck to the fucking like Lego <laughs> base, you know, that I was standing on and it was very, it was yeah. based. I think I remember that when I played it on my on on the little shitty laptop that I <laughs> yeah had. It, it, like because I don't remember that happening on my PlayStation at all. I never had that issue happen. The only issue I ever had w- with my Lego Engine of Jones copy uh, on PlayStation was that I never finished it because there was one single level that like they had like this puzzle that just I could not understand i i just didn't figure it out and um uh didn't google it because i'm a dumbass so like i'd never finished that puzzle <laughs> so dumbass alert dumbass. <laughs> so um yeah but you know it's still yeah I, I it's still a good game in my opinion because it's just like it's funny and um, yeah. from what I remember playing, I, I had a blast with it. And I remember taking my PlayStation 2 and that game with me over to uh, my cousin's house who lives here in Reykjavik because uh, I went to visit him like one weekend. And um, and then we we were playing like with his Legos like at his house. Yeah. And he, he made like a custom sort of like boulder like drop off thing for like a boulder to fall on our characters while we were like running away <laughs> to do like the engine of jones like classic scene where the boulder follows yeah. him the perfectly round boulder that someone made scenes from a movie <laughs> yeah getting and, a knock on the door and like it's the copyright <laughs> It's the holders. Copy- yeah, the copyright people came by. Could you um, please not reenact the scenes? <laughs> and like the ball that he used, I think was from 
I think it was just like a golf ball or something. Like we didn't have like a Lego ball, and then um, and then he <laughs> he made like this this little shoot that the the ball like went down out of some Lego. I don't know what kind of pieces they were like these long Lego like, planks, long cylinders, Lego, Lego cylinders, yeah, these Lego, cylinders, and Lego and he, he he like he used a lighter. To like melt them down or some shit like a little bit so he could like f- you know <laughs> he was like dedicated in making this fucking like boulder sh- like drop off thing he melt actually the he used Just the lighter to melt the plastic and then we inhaled it and that's why I'm still oh, um, oh <laughs> that's a <yeah>. beautiful story <laughs> uh, everybody we finally know now <laughs> why you're an idiot why I'm an idiot exactly yeah. Um, so yeah, I also remember being traumatized with the PlayStation 2 because my brother had some sp- spooky games. Uh, for instance, he had The Thing for PlayStation 1, which was <laughs> terrifying to me. And he also had Max Payne, the first one. And while, <laughs> while the game isn't really a horror game, it does have those nightmare levels for anyone who's played it. If you haven't played it, look up the nightmare levels in Max Payne. It's yeah. fucking terrifying. You're 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 walking around. You hear like the echoes of a child crying, and then and then and then you get to like <laughs> this bridge, and you can't oh. see the bridge. It's just blood. You just follow the blood lines. Oh. And when I was a kid, I never got through that level because I sucked at the like parkour, like the 3D parkour, like in those levels. Because you had to like jump across sometimes. Sometimes yeah. the blood just got cut off, and you had to jump to another side. Um, but there is a video also, on this YouTube channel where I play through the whole game, and I kind of want to stream it as well. Yeah. So I might do that soon. But like I played the whole game, and and uh, there's a video on on play YouTube. through the entire thing. Exactly, it's a great game. Also, if you're playing. Max Payne on the PC and uh, don't put a uh, frame rate cap. You can't make some of the jumps in those uh, nightmare levels. Really? Oh my god. <gasps> Unless you do like a speed run <laughs> strat and like jump <clears throat> like sideways. Ah, dude, that's sick, bro. It's oh, just whoa. a it's a pro tip. Speed ding, ding, run. Pro tip. Pro tip. Ding, ding, ding. The, uh, I, I want a new Max Payne game. I really do. I but it's not owned by Remedy no. anymore, right? Isn't doesn't Rockstar like own the rights to it now, or something? Because uh, Rockstar story's made, over. Yeah, Rockstar story's been concluded. <laughs> You're not getting another I game. I don't care. I want another or just no. remaster, remaster. You didn't the, even play the third one. Remaster so. the first one. I've never played the second one. I haven't even. What? I, I haven't played you... the second and third. I'm sorry. I've just played the first oh, one. Oh fuck, man! <laughs> you you gotta play at least the second one. I I will. I will. Then you'll understand why we don't basically have any more. Okay, I'll do. I'll have to do a marathon on Twitch where I play all three of them like back to back. You know, I play, I play Max Payne one, and then Max two. Payne two, and then Max Payne three. Max Payne three. And, and then finally, in the Max course. Payne 3 co-op with me, oh. yours truly. Actually, if I play Max Payne 3, I would like to just do that co-op regardless. I, I don't want to play through the whole uh. game alone. Are you fucking... What uh. the fuck was that sound? Stop! <laughs> that was me role-playing as a goose. As a goose? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, dude. Never. I played the goose game on stream a while ago. Um, It didn't... It didn't get that many views i people didn't really want to watch me play that i guess but like it's gotten co-op now so like i would love to fucking play it again with you that would be, that would be fun Honk. 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 okay my my i don't know if my voice is any different at all but like my voice is a little shot it's it's a little wrecked because um yeah, i can hear a little bit of you yeah know, shots somebody <laughs> definitely shot somebody shot me yeah. um because uh, on Friday, while I was driving uh, home to the farm, um, I was listening to some music, and yeah. the uh, uh, I don't remember if you, rem- I don't know if you remember the band Fun. Hold on, I'm yawning. <laughs> I, remember, I don't, I don't know if you remember the band Fun. They made this uh, song where they, where the guy's singing tonight. We are young. You know yeah, that song. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And um. 
that came on my like playlist and you know i was trying to sing with it and there's a part where he starts singing really loud and i was trying to sing that as well and i couldn't do it my voice like range is not that high and so yeah. mm. i just for some reason started screaming in my car like i was just, I, yeah i was literally just going ah! and um uh you know people try and pass you or just like you know yeah. does he need help people people driving past were probably <laughs> looking at me like oh my god call an ambulance call an ambulance call but like ambulance. i was <laughs> i was just like trying to i was just screaming i was literally i was not even singing or anything i just started screaming because like i was like um i was trying to like you know use my vocal cords i guess I, I, you know i i wasn't like yeah. angry or anything but mm -hmm. i was just like I was just screaming because I I just wanted my vocal cords to go higher. You were passionate. And, yeah, and then I just like, the and then I, and then I started singing again, and I was just like I I started sounding like Joan Rivers. <laughs> I just like I was not singing any, anymore. I was just like uh, I I couldn't do it. My voice was a little destroyed after that. And then on my yeah. way back here to Reykjavik, where I am now, I'm back to Reykjavik. Um, yeah. I pretty much did the same thing, but with a different song. There's uh, there's a band called Nothing But Thieves, and they have this song called Impossible, and it's it's a fantastic song, and I was trying to sing that on the way to Reykjavik now, and I <clears throat> I, I think I just destroyed my voice again. Which Yet is, again. I shouldn't do that, by the way, if I want to sing at all, because like I learned singing for two years. And I, I can say goodbye to my singing career if I destroy my vocal, vocal cords. So, uh, you no. know, I shouldn't do that. <laughs> you should not. <laughs> Just uh, by, okay, here's, a, here's, a, here's a little promotion for you guys. Hey, are you singing and can't sing some kind of song? Just start fucking screaming. Just do it. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that. Just go. Ow! Don't actually don't Kids. don't do that. You <laughs> don't ruin do your that. voice. <laughs> you will ruin your voice. Um, but yeah, uh, I was gonna ask at the start of this podcast what mm -hmm. uh, what you've been doing this week and this weekend. What uh, what have you been up to? I've been talking about myself a lot, and I want to hear what you have got yeah, you going on. Now you don't want to hear what I have to say. Well, you know, it's been you know the university doing. Doing assignments. Yeah, doing some programming. Yeah. Hell um, yeah. Let me, let me, you know, get a little bit of an overview. We, yeah, you know. Did, didn't we stream Apex this week? Yeah. We did. We did. We, we, and, we, and we won twice uh, live on stream. Which Wait, live? Yeah, remember? I forgot. I was live I streaming. Remember, I don't remember it live, so I don't know. What? I, also, I, yesterday... Thassin, yeah. you know, me and Thassin, we also played Our, our good Apex. friend Thassin, uh, the, uh, I don't think the audience has heard about him. We have a, we have a good friend from Canada called Thassin, and yes. um, he plays a lot of, like, shooter games and multiplayer games with us. He, he, he very seldom plays single-player games, but he loves playing, like, shooters and, and co-op games and stuff like that. He really likes them. Um, but yeah, so, yeah. You, you played yesterday. We played the game yesterday. Did the duos thing. Yeah. And, uh, you know, had some fun. And then managed to snag a win. Ooh, hell yeah. Managed to get a W. And yeah. there was also uh, one game in particular where we landed. And Thassin, being new to the game of Apex Legends, died unfortunately too early. Fuck. And I was left alone. But that was okay because I managed to get nine kills. What? In less than five minutes. How the fuck? And did you bring him back? I I brought him back. Ooh. But we didn't win that game. But you know, it was that was amazing. Eventful. Did you get like? Were you the the, the kill leader or something? Did yeah, I mean, like... I was. But Ooh. then you know. I yeah, then you died. died like a loser. Like, come on. Stop! Stop! <laughs> Um, my question is: Did well, I? Did, did, do you not stream? remember? We streamed on like Wednesday or something, I, uh, and we won twice in that stream. And my my brother came in in one of those games and was like telling me to not use or not have so much shotgun ammo on yeah, me. Yeah, I remember that. 
and then I and then I went like, oh yeah, hold on, let me just call up who asked. And then I was like, oh shit, he's not picking up. I guess nobody asked. And then uh, and then we managed to win in that game where my brother was telling me not to do that. <laughs> yeah. 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 Feels fucking good in your face, yeah. Genghis Khan. Plays. Feels good, man. Yes. <laughs> um but yeah we've, i've been playing a lot more apex and we've been playing a lot more apex because it's just it's like we talked about in the last podcast it's actually a pretty good uh battle royale people are slamming doors in yeah. this building i don't know if you can hear it stop Damn it. <laughs> stop this is really buttering my onions Ooh, also on thursday at my school uh Baldwin said that came to our to to my to my school to like talk to me and the rest of the directors the like up and coming directors that are learning um, from my from my school and um, he's a he's an up and coming director himself he's not he hasn't made too many movies but he's made three that are pretty popular here in Iceland he made Oroe and uh-huh. and he made one of and he made Love Mera Fatla. These are three Icelandic uh-huh. movies that have been doing pretty mm-hmm. well. Um, they and they all now, have like. Uh, now I know who he is. Yeah, Thank he made um, uh, Oroe is Jitters in English, and one um, of is called Life in a Fishbowl, and then um, I don't know why it's called that. Uh, and then uh, <laughs> let, Love Mera Fatla is Let Me Fall. And these are three like Icelandic movies that are pretty famous, and if you want to check them out, please do because they're very fucking good. And um, yeah. he came and like talked with us on Thursday morning, like sat down with us and was just like talking to us, the kids okay. about like his like story. Cause he, he didn't make that Oroi movie until he was like 35 or 36 or something. Like it took a while for him to actually. 36? Yeah. Your name? Yeah, dude, I'm 36. 36. (laughs) Lining up? Yes, it's all lining up. Um, But, like, yeah, he didn't make anything until, like... Well, the first thing he made was Haikose, this, like, TV show, Icelandic TV show, and and he made that, like, when he was, I think, 31 or something like that. That's the first project he ever did. Um, Aside from some, like ads you know he worked on he worked at like an advertising company um so that was pretty cool like listening to his story and like knowing like what it's because it's really hard especially in iceland to get anywhere in like this film business that i'm trying to get into this film industry um but you know it's still interesting and i want to learn it and like maybe maybe i'll become something of it but maybe not you know who fucking knows We'll see. And if you can't get, like, I don't know, a job or, you know, any large projects off the ground, you'll always have me and, you know, short films. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Short films, Just, maybe. Know. Um, uh, Just, you know, do like, you know, those YouTube channels, short films, just you and me. <laughs> stupid. <laughs> Fuck yeah, we could do that. I, we could do that. I've also been thinking about it. And I, 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 I could be like, you know, a backup plan. Yeah. Think of it. Like- <laughs> You're my backup plan. If and if I become famous, I'm you know I'm cutting all ties with you. I'm yeah, sorry, but I'm like, all <laughs> I don't want to talk to you anymore. No, that's not that's not happening ever. Um, but happen. um, thank you. And Good. like if I or I shouldn't say if yeah. when I graduate from the school, I I really want to mm. move on to maybe digital art. Um, because I I, I want to learn how to do digital art and like concept art and stuff like that because i would love to work on like um maybe like video game stuff or or animation or anything like that and just like make make better art because i you know i can't i can't draw i myself would like to say that i i know how to draw i just fucking don't know how to do digital art at all Mm -hmm. you know so i you know, I, I want to get into that. I want to learn that. And I would also like to learn how to, like, how to do, s- s- like, small animation and stuff like that. So, like, yeah. you know, I'd be interested in doing some of that. Um, but right now, I, uh, I'm i just going to finish this school first. <laughs> I'm not going to do anything else because I can't. No time for anything. I don't even have a job. I'm unemployed. I'm a fucking loser. I'm a fat loser. No. Uh, uh, <laughs> do that. 
Um, so that's uh, what happened in my week. Oh, actually, <gasps> you know what? You know, yeah. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. On, on Friday, before I went home, what do I do? Um, we started watching a movie again on Fridays because, like, <clears throat> last semester, every Friday, we we watched like a movie. We went to an actual like theater that was rented out by the school and we like watch movies for this class called uh, film history where we just watch old movies and like talk mm -hmm. about them yeah. and like it's very it's very cool and it's very chill to just have like a class like that where you just like you don't have, you don't have to really think too much until like the end of the semester where the you teacher just have to drink the movie in exactly drink you just it. have to drink it in and like you know sometimes you if you if you have something to say just like say something to the teacher because like it will help with your overall grade i think and then I go um, to the bathroom <laughs> i gotta go to the bathroom i, I piss my pants and uh, one. <laughs> at the end of the semester the teacher gives you a assignment where you have to write a um well last semester it was a 700 word essay i don't know if it like becomes harder or anything with each semester i don't know but 700 page semester, 700 word not page one words oh, no. so oh. seven 700 word like little essay about one of the movies that you watched and it doesn't have to be like a cohesive essay at all it doesn't have to be like uh you know beginning middle and end and like all that shit you just have to write about like why you like the movie and like which movie you picked and stuff like that and um, like and uh, like on on Friday, we watched the first movie of this semester, and it was A Clockwork Orange by Stanley Kubrick. Oh, damn. And I've never seen that movie before, and so my first viewing of it was in theaters, which was pretty cool. I'd always meant to see IMAX, it. IMAX, 3D. But, yeah, 3D. Okay. We had our 3D glasses on. smell o vision yeah. smell o vision <laughs> We had like four D screens. <laughs> we had scratch cards. Um, and it's on a roller coaster. Your yeah. seats. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ultra violence. Um, it's, an, it's an old movie from 1976 or something. I'm not sure. By, by put Stanley. Up, put it up on the screen, the real date. Oh, yeah, and year. put it up on, on screen. And um, it was a pretty, like, good movie, like, very good movie. Uh, you know, the the main character is a very bad guy you do not he's it's kind of like the joker movie you're not really supposed yeah. to you're not really supposed to um agree with him or anything yeah like you're that. not supposed to sympathize or uh, agree with any of his morals or anything like that you're just supposed to watch like his journey into madness and for those of you who don't know for you uncultured people out there that don't know who stanley kubrick is he made the shining movie he made full metal jacket he made psych no fuck not psycho sorry uh he made um uh he made dr love strange and like a bunch of <gasps> bunch of great movies psycho was alfred hitchcock i i almost said psycho i didn't mean to um both old men you know so that's how i that's why i mixed it up um old. And, and then uh but i learned a lot of like facts because like i said in this class uh it's about like the history of like these films and stuff and the teacher always before we watch the movie starts off by showing us some slides about like um you know the director's like a, a, like mm -hmm. story like what like where they grew up and all that like how they grew up and and all that shit and so this movie a clockwork orange um was pulled out of theaters in mm -hmm. like a lot of places because it was like it was thought to be starting like actual violence and stuff like that like gangs and shit like <laughs> which i've you know i have no idea if that was true or not maybe maybe just the media being crazy about like like the joker like the joker movie you know a lot of media outlets were like oh dude the joker movie is definitely gonna start riots people are gonna go out there and kill and then that didn't happen at all killing <laughs> you know Everybody, the movie from theaters you're gonna start killing yeah. And um, but wow. but apparently Clockwork Orange had that effect, and um, I mean I, the teacher told me that she went to see a screening of the movie in in uh, Paris, France, and um, France. Uh, France, and um, yeah. and after the movie, a bunch of like these activists like 
started smashing a bunch of cars and they said like when they got arrested they said like oh the movie did it the movie did it <laughs> we were influenced by the movie uh we didn't is, do it the we, movie did it we did, stanley kubrick did it he made us do it yeah. um, but like the movie was pulled out of theaters and wasn't shown again until 1999 when stanley kubrick passed away um which was after his last yeah. movie eyes wide shut that's his last movie that ever came out starring tom cruise i haven't seen that one um he's made from cocoa nuts <laughs> yeah <laughs> um, that's my parody <laughs> speaking of parody the next movie we're watching next friday scary movie one no um <laughs> but we, we, i did watch it this weekend with my brother <laughs> Me, 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 and my brother. Can we just not. Can <laughs> what? We not talk about it? What? You don't want to talk about a scary movie? <laughs> yeah, can we please just jump over it? <laughs> okay, but we, yeah. we. The reason why we watched it was because um, yesterday. Any yeah, better? Yesterday we watched uh, a horror movie called The Others, starring yeah. Nic- Nicole Kidman, and mm-hmm. it's like this horror movie with um like this scary ghost house and mansion and like all that classic stuff it's an old movie though Mm -hmm. and um it it like the reason why we started watching scary movie is because in scary movie four they make fun of that movie they there's like a scene in that movie where they're making fun of it and my brother remembered i i completely forgot but he showed it to me Uh, and so, like, that's why we watched Scary Movie 1, because we wanted to, like, watch all of them, but we only watched 1 and 2. We watched number 2 this morning, like, when I woke up. And, um... Yeah. Scary Movie 1, in my opinion, is, like, fucking hilarious. I think it's really funny. Uh, Scary Movie 2 was had its moments, but it's not as great as the first one. The first one, I was, like, howling at, with laughter. There's a scene in there. There's a scene in there where, um, also, I was drinking this weekend. Um, that might be why I was, you know, I wasn't pissed drunk, but like I was drinking. I had I had I had a couple drinks while I was watching the movie. Um, <laughs> two. But there's a scene where Anna Ferris is running away from the like killer from from uh, Scream like mm-hmm. running upstairs and she's like throwing all kinds of shit at him she she th- starts by throwing like a uh a clay pot at him and then she throws a bike and then her grandma comes up and she goes grandma and she throws grandma at him <laughs> and then like grandma falls all the way downstairs and he's still following her and then she pulls out a piano and starts pushing from the top of the stairs and pushes it down and the piano is like dunk 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 falling down the stairs and the killer just like ducks out of the way and then we just see grandma go ah <laughs> she gets hit by the piano and it's so fucking funny uh, it's the funniest shit man where did they come up with it where did they come up with that shit <laughs> and the writer's room and they don't make any movies like that anymore i mean they didn't really do that well for for from like critics and i don't think a lot of viewers like them either because they were very extreme and like <laughs> they were hmm. par- parodying a lot of other like horror movies and not just horror movies like the first one parodies um the usual suspects at the end which is not a horror movie i was not scared of the usual suspect i did not piss Actually, my pants when i see that movie was... but wait a minute you did piss your pants <laughs> no no wait no um oh, yeah? well, why was there a wet spot when you stood up from a chair huh <laughs> it was calm uh but, oh, okay. <laughs> um, Makes sense. but um like they 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 were making fun of a lot of movies and a lot of it was like very vulgar and like <laughs> piss, poop, yeah piss, poop, th- 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 a lot of like sex Vulgars. jokes a lot of dirty jokes some racism but i mean the movie was <gasps> directed by and like produced by the wyan brothers wayan wyan i I don't remember, but they're like, or the Wayne Company, and they're like, uh, uh, they 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 are like a an African American like producing company thing, majig, you know. Thing of majig, yeah. So I I think that's the only reason because they would have not gotten away with it if this was white people making the movie. Oh, it it was also co-produced by Harvey Weinstein. Um. You know, that's mm. uh, that's a little black stain on there, you know? 
<laughs> it's like a little rot rotting away, or eating away at the film. Harvey Weinstein produced it, but um, you know, so, so, stayed in a lot of films. Then yeah, he he really he he did, he produced a lot of movies, but you know, yeah. I, I can still enjoy the movies that he produced. Does not mean that the movie is any worse or anything. It just means that it was produced by a dickhead. Um, you know, <sighs> hold on. I'm going to say something funny. I'm putting Vaseline on my lips because um, they're dry as fuck. Go. He's not putting Vaseline on his lips. He's putting it on his asshole. No, no, no. That's <laughs> true. <laughs> Whatever so, you do, don't show footage of yourself. <laughs> I'm Okay, That I'm not putting that in at all. I'm not even writing that, that down. I'm not, I'm not even writing Write that down. Write it down here. <laughs> Write it down on the notepad. Put in footage of me putting Vaseline on butthole. Write down. Cut this footage. Cut this. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) Put in like a. Put in like a footage not found like thing. Yeah. Or just you know, (laughs) actually show it and do it. Like come on. (laughs) No. No. Is that a yes? No. No. It's a no. I'm no. Not, I'm, not, I'm not stupid in the head. <laughs> um, what else? What else? Ooh. Ooh. Um, That's what else. What the fuck? Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. yeah. Hey, Wolsiger, have you started watching yeah. Attack on Titan yet? No. Idiot. <laughs> hey. <laughs> yeah? Have you ever taken the idiot test? Yeah. No, you didn't. I failed. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. <laughs> How about you? Did you pass or something? What are you? What are you jealous? I passed away. <laughs> oh shit! I'm talking to the ghost of Wall Seeker, guys. Check it out. Actually, you've been talking to me, Carlos. <laughs> 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 Carlos is back, baby. <laughs> um, uh, but uh, the uh, the uh, uh, yeah, uh, lay it on me, brother. I will. Um, Stop, no, <laughs> no, no. What, what else? Oh, yeah, Attack on Titan. I was talking about that. Um, I've, I've. Wait, did you just say Attack on Titan men? Uh, yeah, Attack on Attacking what are you Titan men. To <laughs> <laughs> I'm um. Uh, I'm rewatching it because yeah. I I started watching it a while, like a while ago and yeah. watched the first season and Whoa. the second season. I don't remember if I finished the second season because I I never watched the third season and now the fourth season is happening and it's the final season and I I was going to go back and like watch the third season because I never watched it but before yeah. I did that I wanted to like check the final like two episodes or something off the second season and i was like i've never seen this i don't remember any of this shit so uh <laughs> that's like i started re-watching the whole thing and i'm already done with season one uh catching up you know i want to catching up with the kardashians trying to get over there uh, to yeah. to season four i feel you when you said kardashians i just knew it you show yourself what you were <laughs> yeah <laughs> stop a little bit like that. Okay, I, when I was watching Scary Movie, there's a scene that made me laugh so much I farted. <laughs> and my brother was like, what the fuck are you doing? I couldn't hold it in. What What can I say? Like, you shit yourself? No, I know. I didn't shit myself. I farted. I farted. Put up footage of you shitting yourself. Stop, no. <laughs> no. Don't do that. Don't do that. Um, I apologize. <laughs> but yeah, I had a pretty like fun weekend. Um, mm-hmm. Saw my saw some of my old art again, and that actually felt pretty good because like I I was looking at it and I myself just like I I thought that some of it was pretty good, and that yeah. I felt good. And then I saw my family again that I haven't seen in like two weeks now, and um, or except for my brother, I've seen him. Um, mm-hmm. And then, um, you but know, you didn't just, want to. Yeah, I didn't <laughs> yeah. want to. And I saw some, some, um, you know, some very, very good movies. Ex- exceptional good, exceptionally good movies. 
How about you? What have you done this weekend? What have you been doing? Just playing Apex? Just chilling? Uh, doing yeah, homework? Playing games because, you know, I was doing the homework. Yeah. And you, know, and you finished it? Want... Did you finish your homework? My my goal in university is just, you know, you know, to re- fit, do the assignments and just, you know, put them in, you know? Fuck yeah. That's what I do too. Like, or whenever, uh, well, you remember when I was in grade school. And if school, I can't, you know, 100%, you know, do everything, I still, you know, just put it in. Just, yeah, you know, put it in. Because, it. because at least any grade is a grade as long yeah. as it's above five. Well, uh, yeah. for our viewers out there, we don't use like the A plus, F, like all that Whatever system. That we, we, go, we, we go from zero to 10. That's like our grade system. So anything below five is very bad. Five is arguably pretty bad, but like it's acceptable, I think. If I remember, it's correctly. fair. It's fair, exactly. It's like you know, you're only half stupid, but you're also half smart. You know, so <laughs> they let it you in. Shows that you uh, shows that you understand or something. Yeah, it under- you understand, but not but, quite, not know, quite fully. You, not, there is some work to be done. Yeah, there's still you know. Um. Yeah, and yeah. When, I don't remember. I don't know if you remember it at all. But when I was in elementary, I never did my homework and like always just like did my work in school. And if I if there was homework, I I barely did it. And so like mm-hmm. I did pretty bad grades wise and like homework wise at in elementary. And then when mm-hmm. I got to high school, that completely changed my mindset. I don't know what happened, but I just like switched into a different gear and when i was in high school i was you know always doing my homework exactly on time and like i yeah. i think i never in high school like missed any like deadlines or anything like that the only homework i didn't do was in like one semester when i was in like a math class with this like the worst absolute worst math teacher ever you know you remember <laughs> him because i fucking hate him and i never Never did his homework. Had, never. You never had classes with him. I remember that. No. Nope. You just know. You just know from word of mouth that he was bad. Yes. Everyone. Somewhat. Everyone agreed. There's not like I knew one te- one student in my school that that would tell me like, dude, what do you mean? He's not that bad. He's funny. He's, and, he's, he's funny, and it's just like he's not supposed to be funny. He's supposed to teach me math. For fuck's sake. Um, so yeah, that was like, that was the one time where I failed a class and then I did the same class again the next semester with Wallseeker. Yeah. Like he, he had to go to the same math class and then it was a different teacher teaching it and I did yeah. way fucking better. That teacher actually knew what he was doing and I was also able to get help from Wallseeker and yeah. I helped Wallseeker as well. It's me. <laughs> I remember it's you, me. I remember you like weren't getting something i think it was like sin cos and tan like those like yeah, rules yeah. or something something you, you know you, you didn't quite understand and so i taught you like the simple rule that the the bad teacher actually taught me that was pretty good and then uh you you were just like you know a whole oh, new, a whole new world just opened to your eyes you just went i saw opened you my third eye and i thought damn <laughs> yeah. maybe this math stuff ain't so bad <laughs> saw your third eye open on your forehead and went <laughs> Everybody, look up! Look at, his <laughs> look at this freak! I remember once in math class. I don't remember if you were in that same math class, but there was a student that walked in um, with um, mm-hmm. with his like bag, and you could hear some like a- Age of Empire music or something. Yeah. Or, or there yeah, was some that music. Was like, <laughs> Like one of those like exams, you know. Yeah, yeah. He walked in with his bag <laughs> on, and you could like hear like Age of Empire music or something. It was some like music from a video game, and everyone was looking at him because we knew it was coming from him. And then he was looking at us like, "What is that sound?" And we were um, like, "It's you." And he was like, "Oh, what? I thought no, I turned off my laptop." Me. Yeah, he denied it. <laughs> Yeah, at first he was like, "No, it's not me." And then, it's not, it's, and then we were all like, "Is this coming out the window? What is what is happening?" Yeah, Are we were like, talking? "No, it, I mean, it had to have been him because like it followed him into the classroom." And so he like pulled out his laptop and went, "Oh, it was me. Whoops!" And the teacher, the teacher was really nice. Like that math teacher was a yep. good guy, and he just went like, <laughs> he just told him like, oh, "What are you playing?" Like he he wasn't too angry about it. <laughs> we had a laugh. Yeah. Um, 
high school high school like uh had its moments um if i remember i didn't make many friends in high school because like mm. it's very like the high school that we went to was very <coughs> like um how do you say like it, it it was like cut up into like sections of like different like towns basically like if you were from mm. if you were from this town you sit over here and if you're from that town you sit over there and like yeah, you know and like, like... The, and that was just like an unspoken rule off the school it, yeah. it had nothing to do with like the actual school it was just the students acted like that if you sat yeah. somewhere and you weren't from that town you had to like show that you were worthy of sitting on their fucking couch you cretin what are you doing here uh, oh my god stacy you know this Christ. guy <laughs> Uh, Stacy, you know <laughs> Stacy, that's like yeah, that's one of the schools. They were always burping. Yep. Yeah. Um. Uh. But yeah, it was. I think we. I think I already mentioned that. I think I already mentioned this, like yeah, how yeah. the school in the last semester or in the podcast. Fuck. <laughs> in the last uh, yeah, I think each, you did. Each man. podcast is semester. Our material. Hell yeah, dude. We're being eco-friendly by recycling our material. What can we say? Of course. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, so it was very, very, like, cut up into these sections. And there there was, like, there, there was the perv bench, which was one area where, like, these boys were sitting and it was facing, like, the hallway. And uh, they, they would, like, just sat there. And always, if a female would walk by, they would always just go like, oh, my God, whoa, dude, oh, dude, dude, did you see the ass on that one? You know, that was the perv bench. Turns Everyone into a demon. <laughs> it turns into a demon man. Um, they were sitting down there. They were probably very down bad, you know, just just needed some action. Down probably. bad. <laughs> yeah. What does that mean, down bad? Um, I, I've seen it all over Twitter. I... Uh, hold on. I'm assuming it means that you're ex Is it like a dog thing? It's like down, bad, down, bad. No, I, I, let me see. When, when someone is depressingly horny, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like a dog, like down, like a, bad, yeah, grrr, down, grrr, bad, grrr, 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 bad. You know, um, you know, they're definitely down, bad. And then there was one area that was called the Sioux, <laughs> and mm. it was just like these weird kids from one town that were like like emo and and also a little crazy like animals and then there was mm. on the third floor the aquarium i think it was called because it stank it fucking smelled so bad Every, mm. like because on the third floor what are you turning into a minecraft villager mm. <laughs> just like yeah <laughs> you, you remember that right site us up the the aquarium yeah. Yeah, because on the third floor was so fucking warm always. It was always really hot up there no matter what time of year. It was so warm up on that mm -hmm. floor. And like in one area, in one corner of that floor, there were like these gamer kids. They brought their like gaming laptops from home. Some of them even brought like PCs. And I think some of them weren't even in the actual school. Some of them were just like sitting there and just oh, yeah, like just to meet like friends. They were yeah. like they they weren't even part of the school. They were just there. Yeah, you know, people came in. Yeah, they were just they landing. Were, they they were, were just playing video school, games. Just hang around. <laughs> <and> just, <yeah. laughs> they just they were just gaming. You know what can you say? Epic gamers. Yeah, both like gamers and just you know other types of people. <laughs> and it smelled so fucking bad up there, man. Like one one semester, I was learning this english reading course i think oh you we talked about this in the last in the last podcast i'll talk yeah. about it again i had to go in a class right next to that corner and i was just stand yeah. there and it would smell so fucking bad while i was waiting for the teacher to start the class and whenever i had like a meeting with the teacher because like i had to talk to him about like a book i was reading or something like that yeah. or that i had finished reading um like for an oral test i always just like waited to be exactly on time i did not want to have to stand there and wait <laughs> it, was just, it was so hot and it smelled so bad like no thank you and these kids were always like reciting memes and like reddit shit and like fucking christ you know i'll show you reddit shit oh. 
There was also... <laughs> do you remember that one kid that was obsessed with Filthy Frank and he, like, one time even showed yeah. up wearing, like, the pink guy outfit? <laughs> like, what the fuck, you know, dude? He, I think last podcast I talked about, you know, somebody stepped on my toe and it started bleeding. It, yeah. it was him. It was him? <laughs> <laughs> I I actually thought so, but I didn't want to like say anything. <laughs> yeah, but like, holy shit, yeah. He was wearing fucking shoes inside the school. Goddamn dickhead! He, he, he fuck, I, man. I didn't like that kid because he was just like, he was he was chaotic, and I I could see he was trying to have fun, but like, uh, you know, he he was having fun on through the expense of others, like however you say it, like where he was just like picking on mm -hmm. others and that was fun for him and it was kind of fucking annoying one time um he was eating like a salad and he started throwing these maize like yellow maize corn like beans whatever like pieces at me for some fucking reason like i was sitting just waiting for class to start looking on my phone and I hear, like, feel something, like, hit my neck. And I was just like, what the fuck was that? And I can hear him, in, from, like, behind me, like, <laughs> you know? You know, giggling God like a little, like a little girl. God. Yeah. And then, like, he was just, he kept throwing beans at me. And I turned around, like, what the fuck are you doing? And he was like, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> and then he kept doing it. And then he, like... And, I, I, you know, I just sat there and I was just like, oh, my fucking God, if he doesn't stop, I swear to Christ. And then he finally stopped, stood up and sat next to me. And he went like, dude, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dude. OK. And I, I like, just a prank, out of, bro. Just yeah, a prank. out of was like anger because I did not want to fucking see his face. I just like, like I punched him like in his hand so that he like dropped his salad and like there are beans everywhere. And I and I was just like, oh shit, you spilled your beans. And and he was just like, he was laughing. He thought that was funny. But then the other kids sitting on the couch in front of us just went like, you're cleaning that up. They said that to me. And I was like, nope. And I stood up and I just like walked away to go to class. Like fuck that shit. I'm not fucking cleaning that up. He's throwing beans around. Fuck that. No way. Clean your, clean your, clean your own beans. The bean man. He the bean man. What a bean story. Exactly. Um, guess we could call him Mr. Bean. Um, yeah, that's what <laughs> Mr. Bean now. <laughs> uh, I, I don't, I don't think you were with me, mm. but one time I was with my brother and we went to Esco, this electronic store, and uh, here in Reykjavik. No, I was with you. Oh yeah, and he was working. And he was I, working I was there. buying like I was trying to buy a microphone stand if I remember correctly, and like. And I was like, I took a ticket because you have to like grab a ticket for like help. And then I just, I, I hear him call mm -hmm. out my number and like, I didn't recognize his voice. And I turned around and I immediately just like know who it is. And I was like, oh, yeah. that's the yeah. fucking guy. That's him. What's he doing here? Um, and hey man, I, what's he doing here? Is this one of his pranks? If, Steal a uniform <laughs> from this house? Yeah. Is he, is he pranking me again? Am I getting pranked here? <laughs> And I asked him, like, if this microphone stand that I'm using right now, the great microphone stand, I asked him if it worked with the uh, Blue Yeti microphone that I'm also using right now. And yeah. he was like, no, I don't think so. Sorry. And then he, like, like, uh, and then I was like, okay, thank you for your help. And he walked away. And then I just, <laughs> like, Googled it. And, you know, lo and behold, it it was the same. <laughs> like, it, it is compatible. He was just, he just did not care. So, um. You know they work. This yeah. this stand, I don't know what it's called, like Cenimax or something. I don't fucking remember what. Cenimax. I don't know. Isn't that the company that owns Bethesda? Fuck, it it's is. The Shut up. Firm. Maybe they make. The maybe they make microphone stands. <laughs> Wait, publishing arm. Yeah. A microphone. Arm. Yeah, a microphone arm. It, there you go. It connects. <laughs> Bit connect. Um, but yeah. So I got you this really microphone. Bring that back? No, 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 we're done. We're done talking about crypto. <laughs> um, um, but yeah, this we've, we've been talking for one hour and nine minutes. I think mm -hmm. that's pretty good material for a right, podcast, uh, baby. This computer guy is getting hungry. Yeah, you're hungry. Uh, I hungry. need to set up. 
I need to set up for my stream. I already ate. I already ate a hamburger that I made myself. Stop, man. Stop talking about <laughs> delicious, <sighs> mouth-watering when hamburgers. You, when are you going to come over to my apartment for a weekend and we just, like, chillax and I cook us some food and we just, like, you know, watch m scary movie <laughs> one, one through four? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Come Honestly, on, man. there are certain type of movies that I just don't want to watch. <laughs> All right, man. You do you. What can I say? Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. I forgot to you know, ask you before. Like, we... you know, disgusting, like, horror movies where it's like, oh, yeah, the, the guy is made out of shit. You don't want to watch that? I don't want to watch the shit <laughs> horror movie where, like, the guy has, like, a shit cave and he's mad at a shit. <laughs> All right. But I forgot to ask you earlier, and let me ask you a uh, lightning round question. Uh, did, have you seen The Clockwork Orange yourself? Have you seen that movie? No. Oh. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. Land. I have a question for you. Yeah. Lightning round. Have you seen Chinatown? N no. Um, you gotta watch that. Yeah. But the next, the, the next movie we're actually watching is going to be Nosferatu. Like the 1922 movie. Um, so, uh, you know, that's going to be a fun time. And then the movie after that is called hey Holy Mountain. It's called The Holy Mountain. And I've heard that one's really good. So, like, I'm excited. Hey guys, it's me and this for us. No, I'm not doing that again. <laughs> All right. So, to close out this episode, bring back bring back Carlos. Where's Carlos? Get him in here. Like, op like get him in here. Hey, guys. Uh, hey, guys, I'm back. Did I miss, <laughs> miss the podcast? Yeah, I'm sorry, dude. You went out. You went out to buy cigarettes. Oh, and it took a little too uh, long, man. Trying to serve my customers, but uh, you know. Yeah. It that it it that a kick in the dick. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 All right. Uh -huh. thank, you, thank you guys for watching episode three of the Channel of the podcast. You said my plumbing seven day free trial, <laughs> but but it's only one day because you know. <laughs> yeah. Because right. of the, the say, system. Say goodbye, Carlos. Remember, <laughs> discount code Carlos7DayFreeTrial. Say goodbye, okay. please.